Hello! This week's episode is brought to you from the beautiful Jurassic Coast. We're here on the Easter weekend or week uh, with the family. There's Avina. Hello. The rest of the family is in the back. Say hello. Hello. With the dog, Mac, he's in the back as well. And we're going to visit an amazing little tea room, come garden, come water feature, come lakes, come ponds, uh, not far from Weymouth. So uh, we're on our way there. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> So here we are guys, this is the Upwell Tea Rooms and stunning nature garden, it's unbelievable, we literally just walked out and you can see it looks pretty amazing so I'm going to take you around it with the family, probably me doing most of the talking anyway but um, see little kids running around, they're loving it, <laughs> that's how nice it is. Look at this, this is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> so the Upwell Wishing Well is not far from Weymouth, Weymouth town, and it's just a lovely, beautiful gardens. It's just a network of pathways going around the gardens along with waterways and little lakes and ponds as you see there absolutely amazing a lot of care has been taken to make sure and maintain that the place looks like this it's very classical looking very classical I, mean, I don't know about classical gardening or anything but it looks really classical in a feeling, in a sense, when you walk around it so far. There's a little flowing river here. And the water's quite nice. The water's very nice actually. It's really nice. It's not cold. There's the rest of the family. My son loves it. Flowing water, the sound of it. Just being next to water, he seems to really love. There's my daughter and Mac. Oh. Yes. Oh. We didn't have long to get here. We're staying not far from here. But the main thing was we've done something all day earlier and uh, didn't have much time. So uh, looked on the map and we saw this place and thought, right, let's pop down, have some fun sit in some stunning gardens 
and that's Mac calling for me. Um, sit in some stunning gardens and just take it in and then have some tea later on. Can't wait for the tea. That's probably the, going to be the highlight of this uh, little nature adventure. But the gardens are stunning. They're really nice. As you can see from the footage. Uh, uh, he's enjoying it so much he's singing. Did you make a wish? I did. I think it's time we made a wish. Should we go make a wish? As mentioned, this place is called the Upway Wishing Well. There's the wishing well. That's a real working wishing well. So I'm not sure where that water is coming from, obviously underground. And you can see it flowing out from the well. There's no water behind you. It's all flowing out from the well. Getting to this point and then flowing out as the river. I think I'm gonna make a wish. I have to, it'd be wrong not to. I've just realized more often than not you don't need to be hiking you don't need to be mountain biking you don't need to be climbing big mountains and kayaking down rumbling rivers it's just relaxing in nature that can help you enormously for example these gardens they've been here for years and years and years and the tea room's been here for a long time I'm going to find out exactly how long but people have visited here from all over the country um, and a lot of locals do as well just to be out in nature when they don't want to get out hiking or climbing or mountain biking a lot of the locals we've met they've said these little gardens somewhere they spend their Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings having a brunch um, and just chilling out for a couple of hours in the garden uh, and having cups of coffee and tea and just mingling but a lot of it is to do with the nature that it brings to you so you've seen everywhere around me not only is there a river there's little ponds and little streams and creeks but just the stunning gardens and the smells and the flowers and the different types of plants all concocted together to make this stunning smell <laughs> in the atmosphere it's lovely it's really nice but I, I just love these sort of places when I can't get out hiking or mountain biking or climbing it's just a nice family affair to be out here and just enjoying with them because this is a momentous time for me to be with them being with my son being with my wife being with my dog being with my wife I said my wife being with my daughter <laughs> especially my son he is special needs so he can't go on big hikes and climbs and mountain bikes and things like that so we tend to do these little uh, adventures which he loves and uh, brings the family together so let's keep moving walking around the gardens they're quite big so uh, I'm taking it slowly um, so that I can build up an appetite for some tea after
Hello. Hello, Mackie. Are you having fun? I really hope you can get a sense of this place just through the video. It's full of beauty, oh my god. I think I'm gonna do a few more of these wherever I can find them. Whether it's on a holiday in London or different places, gardens. I, I never thought of how much emotion it could evoke in you by coming to these sort of places. That's been time well spent, for sure. I think it's time for some cream tea, some kind of cake, cup of tea, maybe coffee. Yeah, time to go in and uh, take in a warm beverage and some sweet stuff. <laughs> There you go guys, that's the Upway Wishing Well with the gardens behind it. It's been a tiny adventure but a mighty one and that is pure poetry in a garden. So if you want to visit Upway Wishing Well, it's right next to Weymouth, 10 minutes drive and it's an absolutely beautiful place. I hope you've liked what you've seen so please go ahead and smash that like button leave me any comments if you need more information right below check out the description which has a lot more detail about the place and also go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and i will see you out and about take care